Hey everybody, this is Matt and we're at Texas Toast Guitars. Thanks for watching. Today we're going to do a very exciting video about glues you can use when you are attaching rich light to your necks. So the other day I'm talking with Ian and he goes, hey, what kind of glue can you use to actually, uh, you know, attach the rich light to the, the neck blank? I don't know. So I thought, well, you know what we could do? We could actually call the people at rich light or we could go on some internet forum or we could go to the FAQ section. That doesn't sound nearly as much fun as actually gluing some rich light to a board and breaking it off. So what I have here is I have a piece of regular, it's a scrap of maple. This is a piece of eight quarter maple and I have glued many, many strips of rich light to said piece of maple. Just like you would if you were, um, you know, actually attaching the, the rich light to the fretboard. But the reason I did it like this, these strips are about one inch wide and these are three inches long. I've got, I've got a, about one inch, one square inch of adhesive holding these down. Now, I use three different kinds of adhesive and I use two different techniques to glue these down. And I have two of each so we can bash them off in different ways. Actually, I have three of each because these guys here are attached, they don't have any overhang, they're just sort of glued directly to the board. Now, I, um, what I did was I ran the maple through my thickness sander just like I would a neck blank. Um, then I glued the rich light to the board and clamped it just like I would on a neck blank. I used, like I said, I used three different kinds of adhesives. Uh, I used wood glue, I used super glue, and I used epoxy and I use two different techniques. So these right here, these two are uh, wood glue with smooth rich light. These here are wood glue with, that have been sanded with 80 grit on the back to kind of give it some, see how they look a little different? Let me get that light out of there. So this one here has been sanded to 80 and this one's been um, just smooth right from the factory. I don't have a zillion different kinds of, uh, of adhesive so if I didn't use your favorite, gosh, I'm real sorry. Do your own test if you're so smart. So, in order to keep everything as scientific as possible for this first round, I have the most scientific pushing tool I could find for the least amount of money I could spend. And this is a uh, America's with a Disability Act compliance gauge. And what it is is it's a little spring and you push on it and like you can do, uh, let's see, so there's there's like 12 pounds right there. Or for those of you on the other side of the pond, about six kilograms. So what I'm actually gonna do is I'm gonna push on these little floppy Audi deals with the ADA gauge and see what it takes to bust them off. Let's do it. All right, so you can dig my super high-tech rig here. Like I was saying, I've got these, uh, these are one inch wide and they have one square inch of adhesive on them and I'm going to I'm going to take this gauge and I'm actually going to press on these until they bust off and then I will tell you how many pounds it took to do that. All right, so the first thing we gotta do is zero out the, uh, the super high-tech O-ring deal on here. All right, so the first one we're gonna do, this is smooth rich light glued directly to the maple with wood glue. Let's see how many pounds it takes to bust it off. Well, I went all the way, I maxed out the scale and it didn't break off. I'm pushing pretty hard on that too, so, um, okay, this test might be over a lot faster than we think. Here's wood glue uh, on rich light that's been sanded to 80 grit. Do the exact same test here. <sighs> yeah, same thing. All right, let's try, uh, let's try super glue. Hey, by the way, super glue didn't get a clamp because it just basically just adhered almost immediately. So let's see if we can get it to break. No. So we're maxed out. We're like 40 pounds. 40 pounds. Here is epoxy. Ready? Come on, epoxy. Well, okay. Um, let's figure out something else. All right, so much for science. Let's just hit it with a hammer. So here goes wood glue smooth with the... Uh, why does it seem like it took very much to bust it off? 
What I can tell you is it doesn't really look like there's a whole lot of the rich light that's gone. And it doesn't look like any, here, let me show you. It doesn't look like we took a big chunk of material off. Let's move down to, uh, and there's the, there's the piece that we just popped off. Let's try wood glue sanded to 80 grit. Well, there I can, there you, okay, now we're getting somewhere. So it looks like when you sand rich light to 80 grit and hit it with a hammer, it wants to stay. Let's try super glue. Let's see, this one's a super glue. Oh, that's, all right. Let's try epoxy. Same thing. Okay, so uh, that's round one of the unbelievably super high-tech and incredibly scientific test that uh, I was able to perform. What um, the ADA gauge would not bust these off with just pushing down. Of course, impacting it with a hammer yielded a, uh, another very different result. But check it out. The, uh, the smooth surface directly glued to wood with wood glue popped right off. In fact, you could probably glue it right back on again and no sweat. The, um, the wood glue that on the rich light that had been sanded to 80 grit and the super glue and the epoxy all performed exactly the same. The, uh, the piece, the actual one square inch of, of, a, of adhesive held it to the board and um, you know, it's still on there. Even though the rest of it busted off, it's still there. So, um, yeah, I got, uh, I got, you know, one more of these uh, little dangly off bits. If you guys want to see me try a different test, maybe we could like hang it from something or try to, you know, drill holes in it or something like that. Let me know what you think. Uh, I also have, as it turns out, I have these four guys here that are, hold on, let me get in the damn camera. These four guys that are just surface glued to the board, which will be identical to these bits that have uh, have stayed clinging to the board. So, I don't know, I can't think of any other tests that I want to perform. Um, just in case you don't want to see me perform any other tests, the wrap up would be, I, if I was you, I would use, I would sand the, uh, the rich light to 80 grit and use wood glue and feel confident. Epoxy though, if you, you know you're into epoxy, use epoxy. I probably wouldn't use super glue because who the fuck super glues on a fretboard? But anyway, um, that might work too. It doesn't seem to be a whole hell of a lot different from the other two methods that I thought, you know, use those. So what the hell do I know? Um, okay, so like I said, if you have any other ideas for testing the rich light glued to the board, please leave them in the comment section below. If you, uh, you know, uh, if you have any questions about rich light, I'll leave a link to the rich light. Um, uh, 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 website down in the comment section and uh, you know if you uh, if you like the video give us the thumbs up and make sure to hit the subscribe button too and this is Matt at Texas Toast Guitars reminding you that if you're so smart build it yourself that's what I do thanks for watching everybody